Okay, this video we're going to show you the setup of just the basic components of a high-speed engraving system. The first thing we're going to have is the electric foot control. The electric foot control plugs into the wall outlet. The next thing we have is our compressor. The compressor plugs into the foot control. The next thing we have is our compressor hose, and that's the hose that connects the compressor to the filter regulator. The filter regulator has clear tubing that's going to go onto your high speed handpiece. And then we have a handpiece stand and we have the burrs that are going to go into your handpiece to do the cutting. So that is from the wall all the way down to the cutter, the essential components of an engraving system. Okay, so let's show you how to set it all up. Uh, the first thing we have is our electric foot control. That's going to plug directly into the wall. Uh, for this video, I'm going to use an extension cord that we're going to plug it into so we get power. But I always recommend you plug your foot control directly into the wall if you can. If you're going to use an uh, extension cord, make sure you use a good 12 gauge or bigger extension cord. The size of the wire needs to be 12 gauge or bigger. Don't use a really cheap extension cord. They don't deliver enough power to the compressor. So always plug your foot control directly into the wall if you can. We plug that into our power supply. And then we're going to take our compressor plug and we're going to plug it into the foot control plug. At that point, the foot control is working as an on-off switch for our compressor. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug our compressor hose into the exhaust port on our compressor. And the way we do that is we're just going to push the hose into the fitting till it won't go anymore and then it's locked in. So the next thing we're going to do is set the compressor on the ground and show you how to set up your regulator. So now we've set our compressor on the ground, you know, which is where it's going to be when you're using it in an engraving event. And we're going to take the other end of our compressor hose and we're going to connect it to our filter regulator. Now to connect it, we're just going to do the same thing we did on the compressor. We're just going to push the fitting in or push the hose into the blue fitting until it won't push no more and then it's locked in. To release it, we're going to pull back on the blue ring and the hose just slides right out. So this blue ring flexes on this fitting and we're going to push it in to lock it and we're going to pull the blue ring back and slide the tubing out to release it. So we're going to connect it by pushing it in. We're going to take the clear tubing and we're going to work it onto the back of our handpiece. First time it takes a little bit of work working it on. Get it on there a good quarter inch or so so it doesn't come off on you while you're engraving. And then we have our, so our clear tubing is connected to our handpiece. And now I'll just press the foot pedal, which will start our compressor, and then our handpiece will start to run. Now the pressure that we want the, here on the gauge is 35 to 40 PSI. So we're going to just lift the knob, adjust it where we need it to be, and then push the knob down to set it, and then it's locked in place. We let go of the foot pedal and our, let our handpiece wind down. Uh, you'll hear this little uh, air sound on your filter regulator, which is going to release any moisture gathered up by the bowl here. So when we turn it on, the filter regulator will pull out any moisture, and then we let it go, listen. And you heard that sound? That would be your uh, valve here on the bottom releasing, and that will spit water out the bottom if it's gathered any water, because one of the jobs of the filter regulator is to pull any water out of the air before it reaches your tool. So the next component we have is the handpiece stand. We recommend everyone has one of those to hold the handpiece when you're not using it or set it down while you're working, you know, with uh, with something else. And then the next thing we have is our burrs. So the way the handpiece works to release the burr. You twist the ring on the side of the handpiece and the burr pops out. You can pull it out with your finger. You start the burr in with your finger and then you press it against a hard surface until you hear the click. So you heard that click and then the burr seated in. So twist the ring to remove, put it in with your fingers, push it against a hard surface until it clicks and then the burr is seated. So that's that's the setup of the basic components of a high-speed engraving system.